Okay, seven. Let's put this over in access, create. All right, write a SQL statement that shows all the managers. Now, that sounds suspicious. Let's take a look at positions. Okay, yep, we have regular managers and regional managers. So what they want is both of those types of managers. Okay. And the city where they are a manager. Display location, city, first name, last name, position, title. Order by location, city. Perfect. All right, let's start with what we want to select. Uh, location, city, first name, last name. Now position, title. Let's take a look and see how that is spelled. Just like it sounds with no spaces. Okay. Position, title. You may have noticed that this is going to come from all three tables. So, like I mentioned before in another video, it really doesn't matter what order we put these in with the type of joins that we're doing, which is an inner join. And by the way, uh, the, just to give you an idea of how an inner join works, sometimes we have records in a table that don't match up with another table. Let's say we put an employee in and we don't put in a position ID for them yet. We who knows why we haven't decided what role they're going to have we haven't decided where they're going to work so no position id no location id when we do an inner join it won't return anybody who doesn't have a foreign key to join it to the other tables that's opposite from outer joins which will include all records from each table in the outer join regardless of whether or not they match up whereas a left join will give you all records from one table for example the employee one and then only those of the other tables that match up, whereas a right join does the opposite. All records of the other tables, regardless of whether there's a matching employee, and then only those employees that match up. So it's really not a complicated uh, topic. It's just a slightly different way of doing the join for each type. But again, we're only going to worry about inner joins. So back here, we need to, first things first, let's set up those inner joins. So remember, we've got this list the table name first, dot, primary key or foreign key. For this type of inner join, it doesn't matter which order we do this in, equals location dot location ID. And then we need an and because it's got to meet both criteria. It's got to join employee to location and it's got to join employee to position. Okay, that takes care of joining all three tables together so that we actually can get uh, location, city, first name, last name, position, title. However, are there other criteria? Yes. We want only managers, um, and it doesn't matter what type of manager. So if we look in position, again, it shows up as manager or regional manager. We could do this a couple of different ways. We could come in here and say, all right, and position title equals manager or position title equals uh, regional manager and I don't think capitalization matters here so here's the danger if we do it this way um, oh hold on let me finish before I forget order by location city let's make sure we get that in order by always goes at the end okay oops spell things correctly there we go all right let's delete these so this is not going to work, and I want to see if you can understand why. So let me show you what happens. Here I've got location city, Atlanta for, looks like everybody. Then I've got Boston for everybody, Chicago for everybody, Denver for every every city. And look, I've got David Whitehead listed the first one there. And the first one, oh, no, Harold Foster listed New York. But it's, oh, here's David Whitehead in Miami. So it's listing every employee for every city, and it's listing them, but it, it does have a position title. Oh, it's got position title wrong for most of them, too. It's repeated, regional manager and manager. Anyway, why is this happening? Oops, let's go SQL view. Here's why. There is an order of operations, okay? When you use an or, it's this is assuming, when, whenever an and, think of an and like a multiply or divide, and an or like a plus or a minus sign because the and forces all of these things right here to have to be uh, true together. So this primary key foreign key needs to match up and this primary key foreign key needs to match up and they have to be a manager. So those results were returned every time you see manager listed, 
it's appropriately tied Tracy Coulter to Atlanta, which is where Tracy actually works. It's appropriately tied Patricia Milgram to Boston, which is where she works. But there's only a handful of those. Well, those are the real managers in the data if you match things up. These regional managers, most of them are all incorrect. Why? Well, because what it does is it says, okay, either all three of those things must be true or this alone needs to be true, meaning it ignores these join statements right here. When it does that, it says, okay, if, if we don't know how the primary key foreign keys are supposed to match up, we're just going to match up everything with everything and then only do that for regional managers. So what it did was right here, it said, okay, let's say Paul Bronson is the real regional manager at Atlanta. I'm not sure if he is or not. It said, okay, we'll return him, but we don't know how he's supposed to match up with location, city, or position title. So let's just grab everybody in the employee table and say they all work at Atlanta as regional managers. In other words, the join didn't work properly. So what we do we need to do is use parentheses to make that work right. And I want to get into that in a later video, uh, not right now. So what I'm going to do instead is kill this or out of the way and make this a little bit easier by simply saying star manager. And I have to change this equals to like. So it's saying this has to be true and this has to be true and position needs to be like anything can come before a manager. That's what a star means, including nothing. There can be nothing before the word manager. As long as it ends in manager, return it. And that will catch both managers and regional managers because the star accounts for all of that. And it also allows for there to be nothing in front of it at all. So we run that. Here we go. The real managers and the real regional managers.